Hi, Internet. How you doing? Uh, I was asked, what can I do to improve my singing overall by a kid? Uh, and I'm doing this instead of writing it out because this is a lot easier than writing everything out. Um, with bass singing, you basically want to... Proje projection is key. Everything is based on projection and resonance. Um, basically, if you want to improve your low notes, you, they have to be resonant. And to get resonance, you want to... It, it, you, uh, wow, words. Um, you want to put it through your eyes, if that makes any sense. I, if you hear me right now, this, this is resonating up here in my mask. Um, like right, right around here. Uh, if I wanted to just, this is resonating in my throat. This way up here, it, it's not really a higher note necessarily. It's just higher placement. Um, yeah, how I got there, I watched a video that, where Tim Riley was explaining it. If you don't know who Tim Riley is, amazing bass singer. Anyway, um, he explained it where he's, he's kind of, he kind of does this exercise where he clears out his sinuses sounding like a motorcycle, like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah, 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 green, green, mouth, yeah. and then you hear this, his resonance, coming out of his voice and you you should feel it kind of behind your eyes right above your nose right right around there uh for high notes now moving on to high notes now um there are so many different things that go into high notes the main two things if you want to sing high is have proper breath support and have an open throat. So breath support, you, you, you're breathing from your stomach. If you ever watch a baby breathe, it's kind of breathing. And you kind of get this as Ken Tamplin, who is an amazing vocal coach. You should check him out. Um, says you get this snap of air and it you are able to sing way up high if you have proper breath support and also your throat is open it, uh open shape you want man how do i explain that uh you want basically just, yeah, an open throat, you kind of raise your soft palate when you do it. Um, and also, learning mix is crucial to extending your chest range. Uh, I made the mistake of not training my mix at to any capacity. I'm only now starting it and it's really, really bad. Um, so I just strained my way all the way up to, what's my eyes not? C5 um, in chest. And if I was fully warmed up, I would show you, but I'm not, so, nah. Um, but yeah, how to do how to train mix is basically you switch from chest to head without any perceivable break. And training that you want to do it as softly as you need to. Only only be as loud as you can connect. Uh example would be like uh
See, it didn't hear a break right there. Um, but it got super quiet. People like Cantamplin and Dimash are able to just go right through. They can blast all the way through, no break. You can't hear a thing. Um, but it sounds super strong and it goes all the way through. Um, if you're like me and barely even have a falsetto or a usable falsetto anyway, do it as softly as you need to, but only be as loud as you can connect. Um, I think that's everything. If I forgot anything, just check out Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy on YouTube. That is a gold mine, although you might want to check out his earlier videos rather than his new ones, um, as they tend to be more informative. Uh, bass Singing Central is a great place for bass tips on YouTube. Uh, and also, check out, uh, what's his name? Tommy P. He, he explains a lot. Uh, Tommy P. on YouTube. He explains quite a lot of things very well. Um, and also, he has a Discord, so... That, that he has a Discord server where it's all about bass singing. You, you can learn every single technique that there is to learn on that server, uh, as well as uh, a lot of the people on there can also teach you how to sing high. Um, not all of them, but there are they're a decent few that can do that. So that's, uh, I think that'll be it. All right. Thanks for, thanks for watching. I don't know why you would, but.